Hey everyone, it's Thursday evening or day five. And today for breakfast, it was beans on a bagel. And for lunch, it was butternut soup and then some fruit and yogurt. So that was really nice, I enjoyed that. I had weigh-in today and I maintained, which I'm okay with because um, I wasn't particularly good before starting this week, so that's fine. Um, <laughs> I maintain it's fine by me. I'm going for a loss next week, definitely. Um, so now it's time to make dinner for tonight and also, whoa, breakfast and lunch for tomorrow. I'm just falling over nothing. Honest, I haven't been drinking, I don't drink. So um, I've just got the tofu out of the fridge and it's looking pretty like sticky but I bought some more soy sauce which was the original idea so there should be quite a bit on there and then I'm just going to put this on give it a good shake and then I'll I'll pop it on a baking tray and um, the oven is on quite high just preheating and then the remaining sauce in here that's better I need to combine it the remaining sauce in here will then be used on the actual stir fry vegetables in the pan, of which I have one of these packs. Um, I much prefer these to the leafy ones because I always find the leafy ones go like a bit, maybe manky, I don't, I don't know, the ends of them are always a bit funny, like they just, I just don't like them. Anyway, whatever, so I've got baby corn, uh, tender stem, Monge two, and a couple of spring onions in there, so that'll be nice. Um, then also, we're gonna prep tomorrow's lunch and tomorrow's breakfast. Um, breakfast is overnight oats, so that's very, very basic. And a variation on the theme, fruit, yogurt, this time with oats mixed in. Um, so that I'm gonna use, I've got the last of my blueberries. I've got more strawberries. They're still going and they're rending, but they are definitely going not so nice now, so I will hurry up and use those. Um, I do have a nectarine that needs using, so I'll see if I can squeeze that in there as well. That'd be breakfast. And then um, for lunch, we need to make hummus. Um, this is the Snowing World way of making hummus using plain unflavoured yogurt, unsweetened, sorry. Then to go with the hummus, that'll go on jacket potatoes, which of course we cooked the other day, I think Monday. So I've got them in the fridge, obviously, still. I'll take the hummus separately, and then I've got, I'll make salads to take separately. Um, again, I'm just using up kind of all the random bits. So I've got some sugar snap peas. I'll probably use like half of that amount. Um, I've got a little bit of beetroot left. This is really nice, this is the sweet and fiery beetroot. Um, I have some cherry tomatoes and um, leaves and I do have some leftover sweet corn as well so we'll just see how much I can cram into my pot for my salad really so I'll show you in a sec when it's all done right this is the tofu on my baking tray I have this much sauce so I'm gonna put the lid back on just try and shake it as much as possible to try and um, mix that up and that'll get poured over the veg, but for now, sorry, just licking my thumb because sriracha is so addictive. Um, so we'll just pop that one on the top shelf. And my oven is on quite hot, it's on the fan, and it's on just over 200, and that's because I don't want to wait for ages for my tofu to be done. So let's prep the rest. Right, going strong, it's about 15 minutes later. I've got my salad all made, um, which is obviously just loads of leaves, then sweet corn, beetroot, radishes, tomatoes, and spring onions and sugar snap peas. And then my breakfast as well, made overnight oats. I was trying really hard to make them look pretty. And it's probably the prettiest looking one I've ever done, but I am no expert on making things look good. So I'm just making the hummus. Um, this is one tin of chickpeas drained, but not rinsed, because I don't bother rinsing. And in this case, the aquafaba will help. Um, the juice of one whole lemon, um, salt and pepper, and I used garlic granules instead of 
fresh garlic because I didn't, I thought it might be less overwhelming because I'm having it in work. And I've put in two tablespoons, well, you know, dessert spoons of that one in there. So we'll blend it up and see how it goes. Right, this is the hummus done. Um, it looks supremely unattractive. It's okay. I'll definitely need to come up with a proper recipe. Um, I added another half teaspoon of garlic powder and I also added a sprinkle, well, quite a big, probably quarter to half a teaspoon each of smoked paprika and cumin, a lot of more salt and pepper. Um, yeah, it's, it's okay, it's okay. Right, I actually have my stir fry going in a pretty dry pan, so I'm just gonna add a splash of water. Beautiful. Moving that about. Just to get it going. The tofu is essentially done. So all of that will now cook a bit better now it's had some water and steam. And if we just have a look here, I think this is done. Perfect. That is crispy tofu. So, yeah, that tofu is good. Oh, that is perfect. Oh, yummy. Okay, this is the finished product. I would strongly suggest having it over noodles. I'm not just because um, I'm not as hungry because it's quite late now, um, so I don't want loads of food. So uh, I'm not having noodles, but definitely make some noodles and have it with this. Um, and that's that.